Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. So I'm getting the tires changed on my truck at Costco and I have to wait till they're done. So I figure I'd walk the store and see what the prices were like and check, check it out with you guys so you can see what the prices are like up here on everything. So that generator there is a thousand dollars and it is a Generac XT 8500. I believe it's 8,500 running watts and 10,000 starting watts, which is pretty good. And they still have the one that I purchased, the Furman, for $799. I remember when I got this one, I got it on sale, I believe it was, for $699. And this one is uh, 9,400 starting watts and 7,500 running watts with gasoline which is not bad. We got battery chargers, which I've been thinking about getting one of these just so that I can keep it for my generator outside, keep it plugged into the battery during the winter for $36.99. This is a 4.5 amp battery charger. You guys let me know if this is a good deal or not. I have never really chopped the battery charger. Have you guys ever seen smart light bulbs? I have never seen these. These are LED bulbs that supposedly you can control with an app on your phone i think i'll just stick to regular bulbs not a bad deal for the food saver 149 dollars and it comes with the little system where you can actually food save the bags without actually hooking it up to the machine oh and this one also comes with a marinator and if you do have a food saver, make sure you pick yourselves up a lot of bags. I always have one brand new box of bags with me. Whenever I open up that box, I always go ahead and get a second one. What do you guys think? Think, think I should buy a bread maker? It's only 90 bucks. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is something that every prepper needs. A cordless massager. Only $150. Look at that. It massages your back. Now this is cool. Check this out. Only 10 bucks. It's four cups with a wire cup holder. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? One of these will be ending up in my basket. This here seems like a pretty decent deal. Look at this. $35. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's got 20 different jars of spices. So... That seems all right for someone that's like starting out, you know, that's maybe getting their first apartment. That seems like a pretty decent deal. But then again, there may be a lot of spices on there that they may not use. And then again, you can refill these once they're empty with the spices that you do want. That's what it looks like right there. I actually think that's a pretty decent deal. Now this is actually a pretty good deal too. Look at that, $70 for two crock pots. A seven quart and a four quart. And this is what the, they look like. I remember somebody asking me where I got those mats that I have in my kitchen floor. And I remember I got two of those here at Costco's and I got the really long one on Amazon. But this is how much they are. They're $18.99 per. I think I picked mine up for a bit cheaper but I have had those for about three years. Here's their battery section. You can see the, uh, the Kirkland brand, from what I understand, is just as good as Duracell. $15.99 for a 48-pack of double A's. And $16.99 for a 48-pack of triple A's. Whereas the Duracells are, look at that, they're the same price but for a 32-pack. $16.99 for a 32 pack and $16.99 for let's see a 32 pack of triple A's as well and look at this oh my goodness I'm in prepper heaven <laughs> $17 for four bottles of Lysol you know what I should pick one of these up we're only down to one and a half bottles of these or cans so I think I will
And I also think I'm going to pick one of these up. You see, I knew I was going to get in trouble coming around Costco's while my tires are being changed. Because although I know I'm going to need these things, I didn't come here to shop today. So they got me, ladies and gentlemen. They got me again. And this is where I get my vaults. Unfortunately, I didn't know that I could get them a lot cheaper at Amazon. $33 here. Amazon, $21 last I knew. So for those of you who asked where I get them, this is where I get them at Costco's. But Amazon does have them on sale, last I knew, for like 21 bucks. And as you can see, their water stocks are halfway decent, but not great. And their paper products are pretty well stocked. And here's one of their drink aisle. That's your cranberry juice over there. $7.99 for a two-pack of 96-ounce bottles. Two-pack of apple juice. Two gallons for $7.89. As you can see, everything else here is halfway decently stocked. For any of you that have never had this mango nectar, or mango juice, whatever you want to call it, it is delicious. $6.69 for a one gallon container. And usually I'll only buy one container because it doesn't last very long. And this is the coffee aisle. $8.99 for freeze-dried instant Folgers. As you can see, everything here is very well stocked. It's not fronted off or anything. I mean, they're well, well stocked. So this is a great time, ladies and gentlemen, for you guys to go out there and prep up. But look at this taster's choice. $14.39. Let me give you a perspective on what we pay for bacon here. About $3.62 a pound for your regular, I think this is thick sliced bacon or just your regularly sliced bacon. This used to be like $9.99 for the pre-cooked bacon and now it's $11.49 for the same amount. And here down here is your lower sodium bacon. Same thing, $3.62 a pound. Here's your uh, thick cut applewood, $15.79. And this is some turkey bacon. I'm not really a turkey bacon kind of guy, but I had some of this. My wife picked one up the other day and it's actually pretty good. Still kind of pricey, it's $5.47 a pound. But uh, it doesn't taste like bacon to me, but it, it's pretty good. Kind of like tastes like ham. And for those of you that like hot dogs, $5 a pack. And these are my favorite hot dogs. If you guys have never had these hot dogs and you like hot dogs, try them out. They're really, really good, very high quality. And we're in the dairy section. Now these are the eggs that I did a comparison with the other day. And you see, this is why I thought that these were from Alaska, because it says support your local farm. But I guess they're, they're from Washington State. And for two dozen, we pay $6.69. These are the ones that we usually use, and these for two dozen we pay $4.69. But I think that the cage free eggs are a lot better than these are, so we're probably gonna buy those from now on. Here's your milk section, and they come in packs of two, so for two gallons it's $7.49. And your butter, they come in packs of four pounds. For $7.99 and then they also have carry golds which is a really good butter but a lot more expensive these come out to $6.85 per pound and the organic milk is pretty expensive these are three half gallon containers for $11.99 so it comes out to almost $8 a gallon and it looks like they changed some things around they changed where the uh, beef patties were so as you can see here, you can get uh, 18 one third pound sirloin beef patties for $21. If you want to get grass fed, you can get 15 of them for $20.69. So they're just a tidbit more expensive, not that bad though. And these are all pretty much, this is Angus one third pound for $16.99. And everything else here is just prepackaged, manufactured, uh, 
non-meat burgers. This is just the other stuff that they have here. They got shrimp. $15.99 for two pounds of uh, farm-raised raw shrimp. For those of you that have not tried these chicken wings, they are the best that I've ever had from any store. They are pricey, $16.99, and they come out to about $4.25 a pound, but they are outstanding. And for those of you guys that like pot pies, we have had these before, and we usually keep them in our freezer, and they are pretty good. I will say, I will say that much for them. They are pretty good. You get eight pot pies for ten dollars and sixty-nine cents, and these are really, really good. We all like them. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. They're still on sale. If you guys haven't tried these yet, don't do it unless you want to be addicted to them. I can't get any more. I don't have any more room. <laughs> and get your flour now, ladies and gentlemen. $8.89 for a 25 pound bag. And $16.89 for a 50 pound bag. I wish that they sold the bread flour in 25 pound bags here, but for some reason they don't. But a 50 pound bag of bread flour right here is $17.89, which is a great deal. And this is the flour that I usually use, is the organic unbleached, which is a little more expensive. It's $11.29 for 20 pounds. Same thing with your sugar. Get your sugar now. Now that we have a good stock of sugar, get it now. Here, a 50 pound bag of sugar is $34. And a 25 pound bag of sugar is $17.49. And then they also sell it in the 10 pound bags. And they also have their organics. 889 for 10 pounds. Not terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, these are on sale. 879 for a four pack. You know what that means. Oh no, 879 for a six pack. You all know what that means. Why aren't you stocking up on peanut butter? I mean, look at this. This is a great deal. 80 ounce organic for eight, for $9.49. Right? And you can tell that it's organic because it hasn't barely been homogenized. It's got all the oil on top, but there's nothing wrong with these. And peanut butter will last you a long time. And I've been craving some Nutella. So I'm going to go ahead and pick me up a couple of these because I'm going to stick some of these in the back of my pantry. And it'll be a great morale booster, should we ever need it. If not, we will just enjoy. Here's what we pay for honey here. This is uh, 48 ounces of raw, unfiltered honey. It comes from Washington State as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you can't find local honey, then the next best thing is to try to get something that's raw and unfiltered and hopefully unpasteurized. But it's best if you get it from your local area. And then we also have this type of honey here, which is also raw, organic honey. And it's $9.69. This one's actually a little less expensive than that is, but I think that's raw, unfiltered. This is just raw. And then here's just your garden variety honey. So you're getting 80 ounces for $10.49. And it just says wildflower honey. Now, I tried this a couple, a year back, a year, year and a half back. It's bourbon barrel aged organic maple syrup. I did not like it one bit. But if you're the kind of person that really likes the taste of bourbon on your pancakes, then that's all good. <laughs> Actually, I found out later that this is really not made for you to put on pancakes. It's kind of like made for you to make mixed drinks with. And for one of those is $14.99. And this is a partially canned meat aisle. Here we got our albacore tuna. There's eight seven ounce containers in one of these packs for $16.29. And this I have to say is my very favorite albacore solid white tuna that I've ever had of any brand. Then you have your other tunas here. Yellow fin tuna, $9.49. 
Look at this. Hereford cone beef, six of them. Six for twenty dollars, which is not a bad deal at all. Six for twenty dollars is a little over three dollars a piece, so that's actually a better price than uh, Walmart's Great Valley brand. Probably comes out to be around the same price. And then, of course, we have our famous Vienna sausages, along with other canned meats or mostly fish. Now, I have never tried these, but they look really good. I think I'm going to try one of these. It's 12 packs for $8.99, and this is like a ramen noodle. I read it. It's not deep fried. It's just extra thick noodle. That's kind of like a ramen noodle, but not deep fried. So we're going to give this a try. And this is where I get my hash brown potatoes or shredded potatoes from. I think it's a great deal. One of these big tubs is $5.89 and these are equivalent to eight pounds of potatoes once you rehydrate them all right ladies and gentlemen that's gonna be about it I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now because they just called my name and my truck is done oh look at that they got olives back these are garlic and jalapeno olives $5.79 that's actually not a terrible price but then they still have the regular ones for $16.69 for two. That's not a good price. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. And you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper. I'm out. Gentlemen, we are all done. Now, for a soda and a hot dog while I wait for my truck. Haha. <laughs>